Hello, people. I'm up at the cabin, and I finished a book while I'm here. Grouchy's Waterloo. I've got an awful lot of books about Waterloo. Uh, actually, I, I really love the Napoleonic Wars. It's very interesting. But Waterloo is probably... It's the only thing that where, where I think that there's a conspiracy. And the conspiracy is it's making Wellington look better than he actually was. Uh, for one... Wellington didn't have a whole shitload of English troops with him there. The, you know, at any one time in the Napoleonic Wars, there was never more than 40,000 English troops on the continent. His, his, Wellington's army at Waterloo was, there was English troops there, yeah, but there was also Belgian and various other German states. Uh, Grouchy was a guy that was kind of in over his head. Napoleon awarded him the Marshal's Baton pretty much for some political work that Grouchy had done for him. And so Grouchy, you know, he probably would have been a great commander if it was just some kind of a cavalry detachment or something. But he was in charge of an army corps. And some of the generals that were his subordinates, they were a little bit jealous of uh, Grouchy's position you know, they would eventually obey his orders, but uh, they they were doing it to mess him up. And Grouchy was not a forceful enough personality to rectify that situation. When Blucher fought the Battle of Ligny, uh, his right flank wasn't even anchored anywhere because he expected Wellington to come and assist him in the battle. Wellington actually told him when they had their famous meeting that uh, where Wellington allegedly was uh, criticized Blucher's positioning, Wellington actually finished the meeting by saying, okay, I will come. Well, he, he never came. There, there was, there's been various excuses offered. Anyways, the Prussians fought the Battle of Ligny alone. They did lose the battle but their army was not destroyed. They were able to retreat in order. Uh, they were also able to fight this battle of Wavre, which delayed the French pur pursuers. It allowed uh, Blucher to march with the bulk of his army, and as we know, he slammed into the French right flank at Waterloo and won that battle. Uh, I can't wait to find the other three volumes that are written by this guy. He also gave me the name of somebody that's supposed to have written a book of this type that's nothing from the, the, the Prussian point of view, so I'm going to look for that. And since I'm up at the cabin, I get to put this book on the shelf up here, which is pretty cool. I got that shelf right there. I got another another shelf with books here, but but uh, the other shelf is books that I read when I was like in my twenties. I was in my natural history uh, uh, time then. So that's it. Thanks.